I'm always at home playing on the battle net, and it's on my PC. But what I really want to do is be able to play it anywhere, anytime, and of course, that's going to lead me to using a laptop. And I brought a couple here on stage to show you. And here on the left, I have a, next, a second generation Intel Core processor with processor graphics. And here I have a semi-configured laptop that has a mainstream discrete graphics card in it. And I'm just going to put it through the paces. So with that, it's time to kick some extraterrestrial <laughs> butt. All right, let's get to the screens here. We have, um, let's see, we have our Marines, check. We have our Marauders, check. Thor's check. And Battle Cruisers, oh yeah. It's like what I like to call my unstoppable force of awesome. <laughs> Detail, but what you also notice is that both screens are pretty much the same, right? Yep. And that's the point: is that both systems are very capable of handling today's mainstream games. Well, um, you know, even during this battle royale. And what I've done also on this processor graphics uh, system, though, is I started an X fire Basically, it's an in-game capture video game capture utility, and I'm capturing high-definition video while the uh, while I'm playing this game. And then, you know, this is, there's plenty of CPU power to be able to handle both. And that's not something you can do on a laptop before this. Stuff. Well, you know, before I would do it on my desktop, but now I have power right here in my lap. So, um, you know, I'm going to take that video, put it onto Facebook, and it kind of got quiet. What happened to my unstoppable force? Well, I think it got stopped. Okay. Well, anyways, I think I need more practice, but I have a laptop and a choice of whether I want to pay uh, for an additional graphics card or save that money for games, more stocks, or some Cheetos, or something like that. So I've got to get back to the cube now and um, let you get back to your continuum. Okay, thanks. So.